Alright guys, so what's up, I'm fun back on today too. Got a really, 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 really quick um, talk about video I want to do though. Really quick, we got some new stuff for Global. And it's, um, we got the new um, update is like the game. Global Day actually have a maintenance, it's up a lot. Of course in the game, I'm going to go for everything really quick. Again, this video shouldn't take that long, but of course we have a new app icon update. I'm not going to zoom in that much, I did not mean for that to be so big. Yeah, we got a new app icon update, looks nice, looks great. I think since like the 250 million? Um, they didn't, um, no, 300 million dollars, they didn't change it, because it was always Super Saiyan 2, it was always Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, they never changed it beforehand, so, that was good though, of course, for this couple of things, stuff like that, of course, um, but yeah, um, they, they're like, okay, let's update that if I can, because they've been like, for how you university, know they had Gogeta, I think it's still Gogeta for, um, the blue Gogeta, um, when you should form, it's like, you know, when you um, charging the attack, stuff like that, essentially, yeah, the blue Gogeta and the Broly, um, essentially, um, that, that doesn't mean JP icon, JP's icon seems like forever, um, for Global, we just got this up, so I think when Gogeta goes out, they'll probably change it or have like a mini little update. But they tend to do that sometimes too, have like a mini little update before the um, actually thing actually goes live. And be like, hey, we're gonna put this on here. I'm um, just like, it'll like fix bugs and stuff like that. It'll be like a quick day demo. They always do that thing. I think it had like, what, I think 4.0.1, I think. That's what I've been seeing. Um, because you know, because I think for like Google and stuff like that, um, just in general, people were trying to update the app. It didn't update at all. They just went to like 10 point, um, 4.0. 4.10.0 but yeah um we got some new stuff of course new functions stuff like that of course um and basically we're having like um we, like we know all the potential paths stuff like that it's gonna be super simple all you gotta do is just click um the tab where you want to do it top left bottom right whatever um when you um, um press it um then it'll, 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 it'll automatically unlock that unit for you we got some new training stuff like that of course i do train the unit we try to awaken them all you gotta do is click the um, awaken button so you gotta do um, we got some support time, some support type um, settings as well. Basically, we click on it and we click off it. It will show you like it will um, automatically um, click off it. Again, I'll go with split all this score all this. Um, again, we got some um, organized settings for the training locations. Um, we got skill orbs and for stickers. Um, I, again, I did a whole video for that. I'm gonna do it when it comes out. When it probably comes out, then we'll go over it fully. I break it down for five anniversary and just overall for everything. Overall for everything. Of course, they have um, you know, they, um, they could use your interface and of course. Um, fixing bug crashes, uh, fixing like bugs and stuff like that. They always do no matter what. But yeah, um, pretty good size of the download, um, download in general. Because we actually did get over the download for some more tournament units coming up soon. So we are going to see a world tournament, which is good though, of course. And, and I forgot the LRVG net and Napa banner is live on Bob and Geek over that really sick, quick. But yeah, of course, we got some potential stuff right here. Of course, we got the 4.10.0 update live for Global. Again, we all know one global this video. There's so much stuff going on for um, Global right now. Just thinking of so much. And it's just Monday, by the way. Just Global's moving by so fast. So, um, yeah. Oh, actually, no. yeah, I was right. Okay, so yeah. 4.0.1. Because a lot of people were, um, the 4.10, 4.10.0, um, update was, I think it was like some, um, there was something wrong with it. Oh, I mean, when people updated the game, it didn't go in. Um, because I updated the game way beforehand, so, yeah. You know, I think they probably just fixed some bugs and stuff like that. Um, it was actually supposed to be 10 point, um, zero, um, 10, 4.10.0. So, um, hey, Global Jack, I mean, JP Jack, didn't get this update. So, yeah. Um, I'll go through this really quick, though, of course. You know, we, um, enter a, um, you know, second action. Um, it's super simple right here. So, basically, when you're selecting the unit, um, actually, I will turn my light for one second and show you guys really quick. On my app, um, we're going to unlock unit, by the way. When you're doing this, um, for example, the Mexican, uh, there's no brightness good. Um, okay, it's down all the way, because I can't get it done. Yeah, like right here, I'll let it book in. So, but yeah, when you're trying to unlock a potential path unit, I'm going to let it focus in a little bit. Of course, when you're um, trying to unlock unit with blue and stuff like that, all you got to do is click it, um, select do this, and then after that, all you got to do is go, okay, that was weird. wonder if... Okay, my camera's being weird, though, for a second. But yeah, um, because we um, select unit and stuff like that, of course, all you gotta do is press the button. All you gotta do is press the unit. It will... Okay, well. All you gotta do is press unlock, and there you go. For if you have like a duplicate unit, if you already have like your main unit awakened, all you gotta do is press the unlock button, and boom. So I'm not gonna have to do it for you. You don't have to, um, you know, do all that um, crazy stuff. You don't have to keep going back and forth and stuff like that. So that's super simple. Um, but again, like we have a duplicate unit, all you gotta do, it'll, it'll automatically unlock the unit for you. All you gotta do is press the button, boom, that's it. Super simple stuff, um, but yeah. Basically, yeah, if you don't have, like, a unit, like, you have a unit awakened, and all you gotta do is just basically have, you know, unawakened or awakened that unit version of that unit, all you gotta do is press the button, boom, simple as that. Um, so yeah, that was pretty simple, though. I'm glad they fixed that, so basically, unlock your pass easier, that you gotta, you gotta do is go back to the awakening tab. Yeah, all you gotta do is, like, just, you know, 
Um, yeah, just go back to like to the awakening tap and stuff like that to unawaken that unit. So, super simple stuff like that again, though. Um, we'll go over some other stuff as well. We actually awaken a unit, it's super simple. Oh, um, ooh, excuse me, though, my, my throat is dry as a bone. Um, for example, um, I'll go down here, I'll go to my face because it's like a grease turkey. I'm um, then, of course, right here, all you gotta do, we awaken a unit, all you gotta do, press a button. Super simple, super easy. See, all you gotta do, boom. And boom, boom. Oh my gosh. Boom. See, all you gotta do is already awakened and everything like that. So, that's all you gotta do. Super simple stuff like that, of course. Um, but yeah, let's see. Boom, I'm actually, I'm actually awakening the unit. Like, if you're trying to use eight units and stuff like that, that's gonna be super simple um, for that. Just to use that as an example. Um, and of course, we got some more stuff down here as well. Um, oh yeah, when you're selecting a, um, uh, let me text you, go into effect really quick. It's super simple stuff like that, really. Um, because then we we'll just go into like a random event and stuff like that. When you go to your items and stuff like that, um, let me see, let me put my items in. So basically, um, this really isn't like that serious though, but it's super simple. All you gotta do is just click the unit again. If you, um, you know, if you're selecting a whole bunch of like, um, so far items and stuff like that, you're like, oh my gosh, I selected the wrong one. All you gotta do is press it again. Boom. It's all gone. That's all you gotta do. I like they could like, like have like at least like you know like, uh, 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 um, remove all button like at the end where it's like okay boom like put it like I don't know like down here or something like that like down like right here or something that would be super simple to go over but yeah you know that's pretty good for that update as well and of course you know we enter an event for um let me back a little bit let me my clothing a little bit we enter an event and stuff like that um like yeah for example like I'm about to do right now we enter an event there'll be a little eye right there all you gotta do is. Press the button, it'll show you all the event info. So you don't have to go all the way back to the beginning of the screen. It's super simple stuff like that. All you gotta do is this, and boom, it'll show you the event, all the awakenings. I'm gonna enter a 13 event, so of course, it'll show me enter a 13. Um, again, it's super simple stuff like that, of course, for the update. Of course, we have equipment and stickers coming. Again, I'll make a whole direct down video when that comes out. Um, I always do it no matter what. So yeah, that's um, really cool for the global update, though. Um, again, lots of little, like, that potential update really is good in the Awakening, the training is still good though, but um, units, um, the Awakening one really is good, the potential one is really good, a mod goes both, those are perfect, I always wanted that. Um, of course the sticker effect, again, we have animated card arts and stuff like that. Um, yeah, of course we're gonna have equipment and stuff like that, it's already in the game, it's not like, popped up because they would have shown on the, it's right here, because on JP they actually have like a full list of everything, like equipment, stickers and stuff like that, um, equipment tab and stuff like that, or it goes in your items and stuff like that, I think. Yeah, because it's not on here yet. I, I checked. It's not on here. So, um, yeah, again, when that comes out for Gold Monday, go over that. Um, again, this can be, like, new 5-year anniversary. They do always do it. Like, always have, like, new functions and mechanics. You know, 5-year anniversary. I mean, we have, like, transferring a mechanic and, of course, active skills from early for Global. But, um, nothing like that. Like, I mean, that's just, like, some little stuff like that. But, yeah, because a lot of people were complaining that, air, like, the equipment wasn't coming fast enough and stuff like that. Um, ha, that's what she said. <laughs> the equipment wasn't coming fast enough. But, um, yeah, though, um... Back up a little bit though. But yeah, I was gonna say the equipment and stuff like that, of course, people are gonna you know, get mad over it. But again, though, isn't the game's code already? Are they all, I mean, because before the um, JP update actually came out, or they, or they had the equipment and stickers and stuff like that, I think I imagine that it's already in the game because like, the equipment was coming out first, like, it was already in the game's coding. But we had coding and listing for gaming, like for, um, I'm trying to think, we had coding and listing for, um, whatchamacallit, for all of that. Actually, let me go back down. Um, but yeah, we had, we had coding, listing, all that for, like, equipment and, of course, stickers and stuff like that. Uh, we had coding and stuff like that already, and, like, before, the, uh, like, it was leaked and stuff like that. Because, you know, Legends had equipment, uh, we were going on about Legends having equipment, and Duncan having equipment. Which is super simple, though, of course. But, yeah, um, they really for the update, though, there. Um, but, yeah, um, but, you know, super simple stuff like that. Not really too much to rag about, but, um, you guys see some good stuff in here. The event one is pretty good, though, you know, if you don't feel like going all the way back to the event. Basically, you know, we find, from your, uh, from about friendly, you miss something, but, oh, yeah. Boom, I can hit the eye right there. But, um, yeah, though. Again, that's super simple stuff. They couldn't stuff like that should be. Is that coming to the Father University? Um, they always do it no matter what. Probably during the countdown, they're going to show up. Oh, yeah, you can do equipment, the stickers, like loading trees and stuff like that. They'll do it, like, during like, the next few days and stuff like that, of course. But, yeah, um, again, that's super simple stuff like that. The, um, eye one's pretty good. Um, the information will pop up before you do it. Don't confess. This one's pretty good as well. Um, you can save some time so you don't have to go all the way back into the beginning and, like, move all. Um, this one's pretty good as well. The awakening one's helpful, and the potential, the potential one really needed to happen because all you gotta do have it like if your unit's awakened and you have an unawakened version of that unit, all you gotta do, you'll automatically unlock that unit for like you know, the path and stuff like that will automatically unlock whatever, whichever one you pick. So that is super simple. I love that update. So basically, yeah, again, the unawakened unit, if you have like a unit, for example, that's awakened, 
Um, and you're trying to clean the dupe and you know, it's unawakened and stuff like that. All you gotta do is press unlock. There you go. Super simple stuff like that. So yeah, that's really it for the update though, of course. Um, again, super simple stuff like that. Um, again though, nothing, I mean, there's still some good in here as well. This is the goal where they usually get these updates, you know, pretty early in advance than JP and stuff like that. So, of course, then of course right here we have the big boy himself, the Napa Banner. It's live on global. Not even teasing though. Um, I didn't even think of this. Um, yeah, Banner's live on global and stuff like that. Do not summon on this banner. It is bad. It is bad. Do not summon on this banner. Do not, do not, do not do it. Um, but actually there's a plus to this though. Um, Elagai Goku, he is back on the banner, um, that scene down there. Elagai Goku's there, available for points. And of course, we do have the Super Treasure tab right there for, like, Token Battle Chain, which probably will be after, like, you know, the anniversary, or, you know, they'll probably introduce it around the anniversary. Because where we have, like, Token Battle Chain, and, um, like, we have, like, you know, we get the currency and stuff like that for Token Battle Chain, and you, um, use it to get, like, you know, equipment and stuff like that. Again, that's more heavily based on equipment, but that comes out. I want to say, like, maybe during the anniversary, maybe, but I feel like they wouldn't put it up so early. But they want because Golden JV, they never really change anniversary and things like that. They never change like anything. And no, oh, cool, it's not gonna be on the freaking anniversary banner. They never change those banners. We see with couple, we see with JP, they never change the anniversary banners at all. So, no cooler. There you go. I mean, if they do that, then that's gonna be the best banner in existence. In Goku. But yeah, um, God Goku is gonna be available with coins now, which is pretty early. Of course, the Super Treasure Cap being on there as well. Um, that a lot of people are probably not gonna know about. That's good for that's um, for the you know, new Joking about a chain thing, of course. But yeah, of course, LA Napa's banner is live though. Now, someone on this banner. There are a lot of good units on here, like um, this Napa, Napa and Vegeta, of course, is gonna be good, really good. Um, Charles, um, Charles, oh my gosh, Raditz is good. This piece is good. I still see a lot of people using the Ultra Mix, the ceiling, and stuff like that. He's a good unit. Um, this Goku's good. Um, still good. I still, I don't see a lot of people use him, but he's still a good unit. He's still a solid unit. Um, when these guys get easy, when these guys, when these guys get easy, they're gonna be disgusting because I love these guys. Um, they're still good. Um, to say they've aged well. This guy sucks. You're about to get an easy end level. Um, which makes sense though, in context. You suck. You need easy A. You can use easy A. You, you're, you're still pretty okay. Kind of dead, but essentially, you've been replaced by your Joker Fest counterpart. But you're still gonna be good through easy A. You need an easy A because you suck and you're good. Like, these two guys are good. But I do not recommend someone on the banner. I know all the LRs are on here. Do not do it. If you're doing this, you're killing yourself. Let me actually check if there's any Vegeta and Napa friends. I'm gonna freak out if there's any Vegeta and Napa friends on here. Because this banner is a trap before the anniversary. It is all the time every year. Before the anniversary it happens, there's always a trap banner. Do not do this banner. Do not. Because you're wasting your stones on stupid units that you do not need. And I have stupid units, but units you do, you'll probably get like 500 times later. Like, I have, I have like half everybody on the banner anyway. Who do I have on the banner? Um, I have everyone here besides Vegeta and Nap um, Vegeta and Nappa and Brad. So it's only units I do not have on that banner. And that's it. Do not summon on the banner. I actually need to my phone. Kind of weird. Um, yeah, um, do not summon on the banner. Do not do it. Please. You're killing yourself. Because you're wasting your stones on these stupid units you do not need to get. They'll be back probably the time on every banner. Um. Okay, there's no Vegeta Napa friend. Let me go to ND Huge. God, that sounds horrible. ND, like, villains or whatever. Yeah, indeed. In inhuman indeed. Oh, baby villains. I forgot baby was on here. Yeah, that makes sense. He's on here. Yeah, there's no friends on here. Thank God everybody's listening. Do not summon on his banner, please. Do not summon on his banner. You're wasting your stones. I love the game, Malcolm. They are good, but at, uh, for like World Tournament specifically and stuff like that, they are good. And, J and this is JP banner. They didn't change that much for it either. Exact same banner like it was on JP. They're not gonna change that much anyway. But do not summon on his banner. Do not do it, guys. It's, it really is a trap. It's stupid. Every single old player is smart. They're not gonna summon on his banner. It's a bait banner before the anniversary. Don't do it. The Gia and Napa, they are good though. But I see, do see a lot of people using for like World Tournament and stuff like that, of course. Um, yeah, I do see, I see a lot of people using for like World Tournament because they're key, their attack. They're gonna do good on that. They're not, you never see really their active skill unless you really start stalling out for a long time. If you are getting cards and stuff like that, if you're stalling out super long, if you're like busy prelims, you might see the active skill, but there's no point using it because they're gonna destroy the whole field before you even start anything. And LR and LR Pomba are feeling though as well. But yeah, that's um that's the first part. Of course, next time is Napa. Um, but yeah, again though, do not, do not, please do not do this. But yeah, of course Vegeta is good as well though, um, by himself and stuff like that. He's going to be doing a lot of damage when he gets 24 key. He's going to be an insane, unstoppable unit. He's going to be effective against all types. He's an insane monster by himself. He's good. But do not, I re do not recommend go for his banner. LMG and Nappa are good. You can use it for World Tournament, but you're going to use a lot of over them. Do not do it. Please do not. Just don't do it. Please do not do it. You really are just killing yourself overall when you're summoning on this banner. Do not do it, please. They're a good attacking unit. They're good. They're good for World Tournament because they're going to give themselves key a lot. 
but do not summon on the banner. Please do not. This is right before the anniversary too. Do not summon on the banner. Because everyone won't go to today again though. Global got a good maintenance. Global got some good stuff for their updates and stuff like that. Hopefully I went over everything as fast as I could. Do not summon on the banner. It is a trap. Do not actually open my face a little bit more. But do not summon on the banner. It's a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. Do not do it. If you do it, you're dumb. You're stupid for doing that. I see a lot of people aren't swimming on the banner. You're doing a good job. Do not do it. Find me a lot of about a film for all you care. Go for some stones and stuff like that. Go the anniversary. Do whatever. Please do not. Just do not. If you do this, you're dumb. You're stupid. You're dumb. You're wasting your stones. If other people are doing it because they feel like it, they are. They're doing it because they feel like it. If YouTubers are doing it because they just want, um, well, if the YouTubers are doing it, then they have some money to afford. Or if they're just doing it because as a joke or gag, do not do it. Please. This is a trap. I know all the shiny elves are on here. But Global is getting 55 tickets summon where you get a LR for free. And this is going to be a 200 stone version of that banner as well. So, yeah, basically two LRs. I do recommend everybody doing that. Because, you know, before and after the anniversary. I have a robot, I say 800 stones. So, plus, you know, a thousand for that. I say a lot of people throw around the number of having a thousand stones. But I recommend do not summon on the banner. Please do not. I'm just saying do not do it. But yeah, on top of that, we are getting a 55 ticket um, summon and stuff like that. You know, ticket summons. You get free LRs and stuff like that. Um, for global, we'll give you like, you know, 55 ticket summons. But they're going to be divided through all the parts and stuff like that. You know, part one, part two, part three. They're all going to be divided all in those separate parts. Where you're going to have like, um, part one's going to be a set amount. Part two's going to be a set amount. Part three's going to be a set amount. So you get the 55th ticket. You basically summon on the banner. You get a free LR at the end. You can't get multiple LRs. I see people get like LR Vegeta Nappa, LR God Goku, LR Tech Broly. That's super simple. And you can do this for an inch stone, 200 stone version of it as well. That's good. That's really good. So yeah, do not. I do not recommend going for the LR if you didn't have the for five year anniversary, guys. Free LR for everybody. So yeah, super simple stuff. So, yeah. See you guys later, though. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Great life. All the good stuff again, though. If you got someone on the Nav banner, it's a trap. What you got to think about the five year anniversary coming up? This is the big update for the five year. Um, what you got to think about the update? Do you love it? Do you hate it? I don't know. I can't see you guys through the screen. But yeah, see you guys later, though. Again, though. Peace out.